Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 52. In this XR Web Designer 7 premium tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to add a Facebook send button. And the reason that this tutorial is being created is because we got another YouTube viewer request on how to add a Facebook send button to the XR software. So keep in mind, if you do have a specific type of tutorial that you would like us to create, make sure that you send us a message on YouTube and we'll do our best to help assist you with learning more how to use the XR Web Designer 7 Premium software. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial and talk about how to add a Facebook send button. The first thing that you want to do is open your website that you want to add the Facebook send button to in the XR software. So if you have an existing website, go ahead and open that up. If you don't, uh, this tutorial can be followed at a later date once you finish your website that you want to add the send button to. So once you have that opened up, the next thing that you want to do is actually go to your web browser. And your web browser could be Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, Chrome, whatever, whatever web browser that you use to surf the internet. So I'm going to open up Firefox because that's the primary one that I use. And once you open up your web browser, in your address bar, you're going to want to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash developers. And once you type the word developers, type dot facebook.com. And that's going to be what you type in your address bar here. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash developers dot Facebook sorry dot Facebook dot com and hit enter. And when you hit that address into your ad into your address bar, once you enter it, it'll take you to the Facebook developers page. And from this page, you're going to want to log in by clicking the login key. And once you click that login button, you're going to type in your email or phone, whichever it is that you have, into that into that field box. And then the password box, you're going to type in your password. Once you type that in, you'll hit the login key. And once you log in, in the search Facebook developer box up here at the top, you're going to type in Facebook send button and as you can see I've already typed it in which is why it's giving me this auto responder here or auto auto uh, search anyway you don't have to worry about what that means just type in Facebook send button and hit the search icon and once you hit that it's going to bring up a list of search results and you're going to click on the send button Facebook developers okay now that you're on the next page let's go ahead and scroll down some and we're gonna scroll down to the section where it says get a send button which you can see here get a send button and this is basically gonna be where you set up how your send button you know is set so let's go ahead and go to the first option here that says URL to send and you're gonna type in whatever your domain is in this case mine would be xartemplate.com so I'll type http colon forward slash forward slash www.xartemplate.com and then let's take a look at what happens when I add that URL click on the send button to your immediate right and you're going to left click that by the way and when you, when you left click on it you'll see what the send button looks like you'll see that it's got a small description it's got the title, XR Temple is XR Web Designer. It's got the URL. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but it does say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.xrtemplin.com. And again, as I said down here, it has the description. So that's what it would look like. And what this Facebook send button is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to share content with your friends on Facebook when you come to the person's website and fill this out and it, I mean not you but it allow people that come to your website to share your information with their friends on Facebook or send it to someone's email address that kind of thing so very beneficial so let's go ahead and continue with this tutorial uh, the next thing that you see here is the font and that's gonna let you set the font type for the send button 
I just leave it the same if I were you. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. And then you can also set the color scheme. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on this uh, send button so that it shows just the send button by itself. Under the color scheme, if you change it to dark, it'll make your send button dark. Or if you change it back to light, it will make it light. So very simple, easy to understand. So once you set up those things in your, your send button options, you're going to click on the option that says get code. And it's going to bring up this prompt here that you just seen. And you're going to copy this first set of data. So when you left click in it once, it'll highlight all that text. And you'll hit Control plus C to copy. And let's read what it says in this first statement for option one. Include the JavaScript SDK, SDK on your page once, ideally right after the opening body tag. And if you don't know where the body tag is at in Xara, I'll show you that. So let's go back to the Xara software to our website and we're gonna go to utilities web properties and then I'll bring up the web properties and we're gonna go to the page tab so left click on the page tab and then go to HTML code body and when you left click on that we're gonna hit control V to paste that text that it told us to place right after the body tag so once you paste that in there you'll hit OK and then you'll hit OK again for that dialog. And once that's closed out, we're going to go back to our web browser to that same page. And under the second option, it says place the code for your plugin wherever you want the plugin to appear on your page. So we're going to go ahead and left click in this box once and hit Control C again to copy that. And then go back to our Xara Web Designer software. And mine is going to take a second because it's actually doing a backup in the middle of this tutorial so I'm sorry for the long wait here so once it does that let's go ahead and and go to our toolbar and select the rectangle tool or whatever tool you want preferably rectangle since we're dealing with a rectangle image and once you draw that rectangle in your workspace let's right click on it and go to web properties and that will bring up the web properties dialog and let's go to the placeholder tab and then once you're under the placeholder tab let's look for the option that says replace with HTML code for the HTML code body you left click on that and I'll do that again because I went kinda quickly there you'll left click on that button and it'll bring up the HTML code body and you're gonna paste the code in there and when you're done hit OK and then hit OK and that's gonna save that button as the send button on your web page. So once you're all done, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually publish your website to the internet. And you go to file and you go to publish website. And it'll give you a little prompt here. Please confirm you want to publish to your server, etc., etc. You know, that kind of thing. You're going to want to go ahead and publish. And I'm going to hit close because it's going to ask me to export my website first. So I'm going to export my website and I'm going kinda quickly with this because you should already know how to do this if you don't you're gonna wanna go to the publishing website tutorial for our, our, our XR tutorials if you need help with that but in general you should already know how to publish a website and once that's done publishing your website to the internet the next thing that you would want to do is go back to your web browser and then go to the website that you uploaded the Facebook send button to in this case it's going to be xrtemplate.com for us so we're going to go to that and you would go to the relevant website for your website so go to xrtemplate.com and I'm going there again because that's where our website is hosted so that's where our Facebook send button would show up at so let's give it a moment and as you can see there is a Facebook send button here added to our website so if we left click on that watch what happens you see that we get an extra pop-out menu that allows us to send content to an individual so for example if I wanted to send it to myself I could type in contact at XR template dot com and then I can say hey check out 
the XAR template website. It's really cool. So I'm gonna send it to myself for the sake of simplicity and hit send and it's gonna send that to me. So now that message has been sent to my personal email address. But let's say that you wanted to send it to a friend, a friend that's on Facebook. It's quite simple. You select the people that you want to send it to. So you can share it with you know a friend on Facebook. You could go like that. And you can enter a friend, a friend or a group or email address. So you could type in I don't know, maybe you know Jenny. Maybe there's Jenny and oh that's not correct. So when you hit the send button you'll be able to send it to a, you'll be able to send this information to a specific email address or to a to a Facebook friend and one of the ways that you can do it as well is make sure that you're locked into Facebook and I'll show you what I mean so let, if I log into if I log out of Facebook watch what happens because I'm logged in right now it was using my set of friends so let's refresh this page and I apologize about the fumble in this tutorial but once I refresh this page uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that again and watch what happens it's not gonna show any of that information I'll have to log in with my account so as you can see I have to enter in my email address if I wanna log in and send information to a friend so that's why it showed my information when I clicked on that button it shows my friends on Facebook so you will have to log in to send to your friends on Facebook so keep that in mind but you can send it to a specific email address by simply typing it in and then once you're done typing the name you want to type in you hit enter key and it will add it as one of the email addresses and you can add as many as you want you could add in tutorials at yahoo.com maybe you want to send it to that email address hit enter and when you, when you get done you'll write in your message like normally hit the send button and you're done so it's really simple to add a send button to your your uh, website in XR for Facebook and that's how you do it if you have any questions please feel free to contact me and again if you have any requests for a specific type of tutorial send us a message on YouTube too. if you think this tutorial was helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Thanks again. Yeah.